Artificial intelligence is the science and engineering domain concerned with the theory and practice of developing systems that exhibit the characteristics we associate with intelligence in human behavior, such as perception, natural language processing, problem solving and planning, learning and adaptation, and acting on the environment. An expert system is an intelligent computer program that uses knowledge and inference procedures to solve problems that are difficult enough to require significant human expertise for their solution. In law, an attorney makes observations in a criminal case and seeks to generate hypotheses in the form of charges that seem possible in explaining these observations. Then, assuming that a charge is justified, attempts are made to deduce further evidence bearing on it. Finally, the obtained evidence is used to prove the charge. The following show how it is possible to build inferences with our smart judge expert system. First, the user enters the claim or hypothesis. Second, the user enters the relevant facts. Third, the user assigns a relevance value to each of the facts. The assigned value is very likely. Four, the user justifies this assigned relevance value by a generalization. This generalization tells us that if the fact is relevant, then it makes the claim more or less probable. Fifth, the user adds each of the evidence related to the relevant facts. Sixth, the user assigns a pertinence or relevance value to each of the evidence. The assigned value is less probable. Seventh, the user justifies this assigned pertinence or relevance value by a generalization. This generalization tells us that if the evidence is pertinent or relevant, then it makes the fact more or less probable. Eighth, the user assigns a credibility value for each of the evidence. This value is more probable. Ninth, the expert system, intelligent judge, calculates the weight of each of the evidence. This corresponds to the individual assessment of the evidence. This weight of evidence is the lowest value between the pertinence or relevance and the credibility of the evidence. Tenth, the expert system, intelligent judge, calculates the weight that all the mass of evidence gives to the claim or hypothesis. Let's illustrate the above with a simple example. Once we start the software, we click on New Process. Then, we fill in the form with some process data and include a hypothesis or claim. In this case, the hypothesis is that Anne has a fracture in her left arm. Then, we add a fact that is favorable to this hypothesis or claim. This fact is that Anne has a cast on her left arm. Next, we assign a relevance value to this fact. This relevance value can be unsupported, unlikely, likely, most likely, very likely, almost true, and true. To assign this relevance value, we ask a relevance question. This question is, if this fact is true, how likely is the hypothesis or claim? If the fact that Anne has a cast on her left arm is true, how likely is the hypothesis or claim that she has suffered a fracture in her left arm? In this case, we choose the value of very likely. This value of very likely is justified by employing the following generalization. If the fact that Anne has a cast on her left arm is true, then the hypothesis or claim that she has suffered a fracture is very likely. This generalization allows us to justify the relevance value assigned to this fact. This generalization is automatically constructed by the software. Next, we assign an evidence that is favorable to this fact. This evidence is a photo showing that Anne has a cast on her left arm. 
Next, we assign a pertinence value to this evidence. This pertinence value can be unsupported, unlikely, likely, most likely, very likely, almost true, and true. To assign this pertinence value, we ask a pertinence question. This question is, if this evidence is true, how likely is the fact? If the photo evidence that she has a cast on her left arm is true, how likely is the fact that she has a cast on her left arm? In this case, we choose the value of true. This value of true is justified by employing the following generalization. If the evidence from the photo where it is observed that N has a cast on her left arm is true, then the fact that N has a cast on her left arm is true. This generalization allows us to justify the pertinence value assigned to this evidence. This generalization is automatically constructed by the software. We then assign a credibility value to this documentary evidence. To assign this credibility value, we ask a credibility question. This question is, given that this photo has not been forged, how likely is it that what is observed in it is true? In this case we choose the value of true. Once we have assigned these three values of relevance of the fact and pertinence and credibility of the evidence, the intelligent judge expert system calculates the evidential weight that this evidence gives to the hypothesis or claim. In this case the evidential weight is very likely. Someone who disagrees with this argument offers a different and opposite one from ours. Our opponent proposes a fact that is unfavorable to the hypothesis or claim that Anne has suffered a fracture in her left arm. This fact is that Anne has a bandage on her left arm. Next, we assign a relevance value to this fact. To assign this relevance value, we ask a relevance question. This question is, if this fact is true, how likely is the hypothesis or claim? If the fact that Anne has a bandage on her left arm is true, how likely is the denial of the hypothesis or claim that she has suffered a fracture in her left arm? In this case, we choose the value of very likely. This value of very likely is justified by employing the following generalization. If the fact that N has a bandage on her left arm is true, then denial of the hypothesis or claim that N has suffered a fracture is very likely. This generalization allows us to justify the relevance value assigned to this fact. This generalization is automatically constructed by the software. Next, we assign an evidence that is favorable to this fact. This evidence is a medical report noting that N has a bandage on her left arm. Next, we assign a pertinence value to this evidence. This pertinence value can be unsupported, unlikely, likely, most likely, very likely, almost true, and true. To assign this pertinence value, we ask a pertinence question. This question is, if this evidence is true, how likely is the fact? If the medical report that N has a bandage on her left arm is true, how likely is the fact that N has a bandage on her left arm? In this case, we choose the value of true. This value of true is justified by employing the following generalization. If the evidence from the medical report noting that N has a bandage on her left arm is true, then the fact that N has a bandage on her left arm is true. This generalization allows us to justify the pertinence value assigned to this evidence. This generalization is automatically constructed by the software. We then assign a credibility value to this documentary evidence. To assign this credibility value, we ask a credibility question. This question is, given that this medical report has not been forged, how likely is it that what is observed in it is true? In this case we choose the value of true. Once we have assigned these three values of relevance of the fact and pertinence and credibility of the evidence, the intelligent judge expert system calculates the evidential weight that this evidence gives to the hypothesis or claim. In this case the evidential weight is unsupported. The reason for this is that the party proposing the hypothesis or claim has the burden of proof. Given that the burdens have been left with equal evidential weight, the intelligent judge expert system leaves without support the hypothesis or claim initially raised by the party proposing it. Now, the party that initially proposes the hypothesis or claim tries to undermine the credibility of the documentary evidence of the medical report. For this purpose, it introduces an expert opinion stating that this medical report has been falsified. After repeating the process of assigning pertinence and credibility to this expert evidence, 
The intelligent judge expert system calculates the evidentiary weight that together these three pieces of evidence give to the hypothesis or claim. Here it is observed how the expert opinion related to the falsification of the evidence of the medical report leaves unsupported the fact that Anne has a bandage on her left arm. The combined evidential weight of these three pieces of evidence make the hypothesis or claim of the party that initially proposed the same, very likely. Finally, the intelligent judge expert system allows the generation of a written report of the entire evaluation of the evidence. In short, the intelligent judge expert system performs an individual and joint evaluation of the evidence. Taking into account the credibility and pertinence values assigned to each one of the pieces of evidence, the smart judge expert system calculates the evidentiary weight that each evidence gives to each fact. This individual evidentiary weight is the least value, between pertinence and credibility, of those that each evidence has given to each of the facts. In the present case, the evidentiary weight that the evidence gives to this fact is the lowest value between likely, pertinence, and unlikely or little likely, credibility. Therefore, the evidentiary weight that the evidence gives to this fact is represented by the unlikely or little likely value. With the relevance value assigned by the judge to the facts, and with the value of the evidentiary weight that the evidence gave to the facts, smart judge expert system calculates the evidentiary weight that all the evidence, together, gives to the hypothesis or claim. The joint evidentiary weight is the least value between the relevance and the evidentiary weight among the ones evidence gives to the fact. In the present case, the evidentiary weight that evidence gives to the hypothesis or claim is the least value between very likely, relevance, and unlikely or little likely, evidentiary weight. The evidentiary weight that this evidence and this fact give to the hypothesis or claim is represented by the unlikely or little likely value. So, it is possible to have an evidence that is not very credible, little likely, pertinent, likely, and with little evidentiary weight, little likely, connected inferentially with a very relevant fact, very likely. Based solely on this evidence and on this fact, hypothesis or claim of the party bearing the burden of proof, it can be inferred that such hypothesis or claim, is little likely. This process is repeated for each of the facts and for each evidence that takes place in the judicial process. Here we have five single pieces of evidence, three facts and a hypothesis or claim. Evidence 1 favors, F, fact 1. Evidence 2 disfavors, D, fact 1. These two pieces of evidence show a pattern of contradiction in relation to fact 1. Evidence 3 favors, F, fact 2. Evidence 4 favors, F, fact 2. These two pieces of evidence show a corroborative pattern in relation to fact 2. Pieces of evidence 1. 3 and 4 favor, F, different facts, fact 1 and 2, respectively, which favor, F, the same hypothesis or claim. These three pieces of evidence show a pattern of evidentiary convergence in relation to the hypothesis or claim of the party that has the burden of proof. Evidence 5 favors, F, fact 3, which, in turn, disfavors, D, the hypothesis or allegation of the party bearing the burden of proof. Pieces of evidence 1. 3 and 4 favor, F, different facts, fact 1 and 2, respectively, and favor, F, the same hypothesis or claim. Pieces of evidence 1, 3 and 4, which favor, F, the hypothesis or claim of the party with the burden of proof, show a pattern of evidentiary conflict with evidence 5, which disfavors, D, the said hypothesis or claim. Based solely on these five pieces of evidence and the three illustrated facts, the evidentiary weight of the hypothesis or claim of the party bearing the burden of proof is represented by the more likely value. This conference has presented a methodology, procedure or algorithm and, and the smart judge expert system, which allow organizing the judge's thinking regarding the motivation of the sense that decides the judicial trial, from the evidence of the facts to the hypotheses or claims that are considered in the judicial trial. Mary. I think the time has come to say goodbye. Can you say thank you and end this conference? Sure, I would love to do it. I would like to thank you all for your attention. My name is Mary. Professor Ryan Vargas asked me to speak to you today. You should know that I am an artificial voice with an American accent. I hope you enjoyed this lecture.